So if you're trying to import some data into SQL Server and you're getting this error here, Microsoft ace.oledb.12 or 15 or 16 provider is not registered on your machine, what you need to do is install this provider. So what you can do is just head over to Google or Bing and search for download Microsoft Ace OLEDB and the version that you need. So from the search, you want to select the second link. So this will download the 2016 version, which is fine in most cases. But if you need the older version, you can search for the archive version or the older version, right? So you just go ahead and select download and select the 64 bit file, download and install. But if you download and install it and you're still getting the error, you need to apply the latest cumulative patch for SQL Server. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here I'm on the Microsoft website where you can view the cumulative patches. So let's scroll down. There's a specific patch for that issue. It's this one here. Fixes the following error that occurs when you, when you try to start SQL Server import and export wizard after you install SQL Server database engine. So if you go to start and search for import and export data wizard and it did not come up like this and you get this error, could not load assembly, right? You need to install the latest cumulative patch or you can just install the specific patch. That will take care of the issue once you restart your computer and then you'll be able to proceed with your installation. That's the exact issue I was having. Now I can import my excel now once you launch the import and export wizard you can go ahead and select your source as excel browse for the file it's sample data let's maximize this then select next then from the drop down select sql server then specify your server name i am using a demo instance and then choose your database that you want to import the data into then select next Select next to keep the default option. So it will be importing sheet one and in my target, it will be creating it as sheet one if I don't change the name. So I'm gonna change it to data imported. You can preview the data as well you can edit the mappings and change the column names if you wish. So I'm gonna select okay here and then select next. Select finish to run immediately and then select finish. My data has been successfully imported. Now let's minimize and let's connect to management studio, refresh tables and let's select our table. And that's basically it. So to summarize, the first thing that you need to do is install the ACE or LEDB driver. Then if you're having additional issues, you install the latest cumulative patch and that will take care of your issues. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. For more training, you can check out my Udemy courses. The link is in the description of this video.